guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Meryl. If you are new here, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate it. Um, so for today's video, I'm gonna film a video, <laughs> obviously, using all my favorite products at the moment. I've already got my brows on, but I have a favorite moisturizer that I would love to share with you. I haven't been doing my skincare in my videos recently just because like it's kind of boring, like some fucking moisturizer who gives a shit, but I thought I would let you know what they are today. I've been loving this Ren Evercalm Global Protection Day Cream. Um, it is so moisturizing i really love it it's like pretty thick and i love the way it looks under my foundation it just like keeps my skin looking super super hydrated and the packaging is pretty cool because it's fully recyclable so that's fantastic and it's cruelty free and vegan or is it vegan yeah it is uh cruelty free and vegan so that's important to me as well uh yeah i've been loving this it's kind of pricey but i've had it for quite a while and i use it every single day and that's how much product i've used uh right here yeah so this is what i've been putting under my makeup and i love it one pump is that much product bring it down my neck and put the leftovers on the back of my hands. Been enjoying this Hourglass Veil Primer. Um, I got it for my birthday gift, which was in September. And recently there's been some uh, drama with Hourglass um, because they relaunched one of their like trios. They relaunched it with a new formula, but they didn't extend the shade range. So there's literally only one shade in that product, which is absolutely fucked up. I will not be supporting Hourglass anymore um, until they fix their fucking shade range. You're literally cutting your market in half. Like, do you know how many people who are people of color would buy your products if you had a fucking color in their shade? You, you just lost a shit ton of clients. Like, Hourglass has beautiful products, but the fact that you don't have literally any shade range there's only one fucking shade and that product is like just fucked up so yeah i won't be supporting hourglass any further until they change their shade range because that's just not acceptable like you can't have one shade in a product dude come on especially when you're that big of a brand and you have so much fucking money how hard is it to make more shades than one shade it's probably not that hard do you know how many customers you're losing by not creating that shade not just for the people who can't wear that shade, but also for people who have fucking morals and are no no longer gonna support your brand because you only have one fucking shade. Like, it just, it's fucked up. So I will no longer be supporting that. Next up, I need some under eye cream because my fucking skin is just the most dry. So I'm taking my Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I don't find that this really brightens my under eyes, but it does a really good job at keeping them hydrated, which is what I need. I mean, I also want my dark circles to go away, but a cream is not gonna fucking do that. Once I've got my skincare on, I like to go in with my brow gel. I've already got my brow products on because I use a brow pen. So when you put moisturizer and then you use a brow pen, the brow pen just kind of gets clogged. So I've been doing my brows first, but then I save my brow gel until the very last step before I put on my complexion products. Uh, so that my brows just look nice and fresh. And I do like this stuff. It's like, does everything that every other brow gel I've ever used does and it's way cheaper, so do recommend that. Okay, so next up, I have been loving this Jekyll Black under eye corrector. It is super, super nice and I love the mission of the brand. Um, I spoke about this a little bit in my one of my videos recently. So I've been loving this Jekka Black under eye brightener and I just love the brand. So Jessica Black, she is like a working makeup artist and then she started her own makeup line and she her aim is to like create makeup for everybody, you know? Like doesn't matter your age, gender, sexuality, race, she just wants to create makeup for people, and I love that. So I'm just looking at her website right now, and it says that, so yeah, she started off in film and TV doing makeup, and then she created a studio for trans women to come and experiment with makeup. So I just love that. I just love how inclusive it is. I can't wait to try more of their products in the future. So I'm gonna be taking this to my under eyes, and you just need a little bit. And I like to apply this with my fingers. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. I'm taking my Fenty Cream Bronzer. I love, this is like the perfect shade for the current time of year. Like I've been using this other, the other Tarte one, but it's a little bit too warm for me right now. Like I feel like I'll love that one in the spring or summer. I just feel like this one is the perfect tone for the time of year. So I've been loving using this one recently. I just hit pan. <laughs> I'm like kind of excited but also a little bit sad. Okay next up is time for some foundation. I'm gonna be using my Rare Beauty foundation. I am obsessed with this foundation. It is so nice and it just looks so natural on the skin. My favorite sponge of all time is uh, my makeup eraser sponge. It is super soft, nice and squishy. I absolutely love it. And you can also throw it in the washing machine to get it nice and clean when you need to. But also I find that um, even just washing it with my Beauty Blender makeup soap, <laughs> brush cleaner, there we go, gets clean super easily. God, I just love the way that foundation looks. It's so, so pretty. And I love the way the bronzer and I, yeah. I mean, I guess this is my favorites video. I love the way all of these products work together. They're just beautiful, dude. And now we're just gonna go back in with a bit more bronzer just to freshen it, <laughs> refresh it. Like, fuck, how fucking nice does that look, dude? <laughs> it's just my favorite, I love it. It's so nice. So I'm at the tail end of a couple breakouts. So I'm gonna put like a tiny amount of concealer on them just to like try to hide them a little bit more. I recently picked up, or I didn't recently pick this up, but I recently pulled it out of my drawer because I kind of forgot about it because I got all these other fucking concealers. <laughs> I pulled this out of my drawer and I put it on my breakouts and on my under eyes the other day and I was like, holy fuck, I forgot how much I love this concealer. So this is my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Concealer in the shade L4, and I have been loving it. It's nice and full coverage. I recently uploaded a video where I go pretty in depth of how I cover my breakouts, so I will link that up here, whatever fucking side the link goes on. So you can check that out if you want some tips on how to cover your breakouts. Just look at how fucking nice all those products look together. Like, I just am obsessed. I wish we didn't have to wear masks so I could just like do a full face of makeup every fucking day, you know? But. I wear my mask. I have, I'm I'm not I'm kind of complaining, but I'm gonna wear it like 100%. I'm never not gonna wear it until I'm allowed to not wear it. Okay, my next favorite product that I've only used twice, but it is absolutely my most favorite blush ever in the whole entire fucking world. I have my Patrick Ta, she's so LA, cream and powder blush. This product is just fucking beautiful, man. I've only used it twice, and it's just perfect. It's exactly the color that I want for blush. It's just, it's, it's, it's stunning. It's so beautiful. And it was sold out for so long. That's why I only recently just got it because I finally got an email being like, hey bitch, this shit's back in stock if you still want it. And I was like, you know I still want it. Thanks Sephora. <laughs> I've been trying to be more st strategic. <laughs> Holy fuck, my brain. I've been trying to be more st strategic. Why can't I speak or think or do anything today? <laughs> Anyways, I've been trying to be more strategic with my blush placement because just I normally just put it right on the apples of my cheek and that makes your face look a little bit more round. If you go a little bit higher and bring it up, 
it kind of slim it gives the effect of like slimming your face a tiny bit just because like right on the apples is like round obviously so this is kind of just angling it upwards and uh i've been loving it and now we go in with the cream to add a little bit of life and dew back into it oh my god it's just so pretty i love it so much it's perfect dude it's fucking perfect <laughs> okay now i'm just gonna tap under my eyes here because we're gonna set our under eyes next and i just want to make sure there's no creases and like blend the blush in a little bit so next up we are taking our pat mcgrath sublime blurring under eye powder and i've been loving this ever since i got it i use it like every single day it just perfectly blurs like it says it's supposed to look at that it's perfect and whenever i do cover breakouts i just like to powder over them softly so that the product on top doesn't move around and you know how sometimes you get like those shiny zits? This also just helps to mattify them. I guess it's like a shiny scab kind of once you've picked at it for too long because we've all done that, I'm sure of it. I got this Makeup by Mario highlighter and I have been loving it. The only thing I don't love about it is how sticky it is. Like if you could reformulate and make it just like a little bit less sticky or so that it like dries down because my hair gets stuck in it, dude, which is kind of annoying. If it is like a windy ass fucking day, you're gonna be looking like Chewbacca because it, your hair, your face will be like covered in your fucking hair. But it's so pretty. So I'm gonna continue to use it because I love it. I love the way it looks on the skin. Um, and I also have been loving applying it with a beauty sponge. And I've said this a couple times in other videos, uh, just because when I applied it with my finger the one day, it like felt like it removed all of the makeup that was already on my face. So for some reason, this doesn't pick up the, like, well, because my finger's warm, obviously, so it's like melting the makeup off, kind of, is what happened. I've been loving applying it with a sponge because it doesn't remove the makeup from my face. And you just need a little bit. Just like that. It's perfect. I love it. Alright, my lips look crusty as fuck, so I'm just gonna put on some chapstick real quick. Just the face. Those are all of my favorite complexion products at the moment. I love the way that it makes my skin look. It's just, it's so fucking pretty. And last favorite skin thing. Yeah, this is a skin thing. Um, my setting spray. So I've been absolutely just fucking loving the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It's quite fragranced, but I don't find that my face like smells like it all day long. And it, so it doesn't really bother me that much. But if you're like a fuck no to fragrance and skin or like makeup in general you probably won't love this but it just like the way it makes your makeup look is so nice and the last time i did my makeup i applied this like right after i did all my complexion <laughs> complexion products and uh it just gives it time to like settle into the makeup so i loved it so i'm gonna put the setting spray on now Right, you guys that is the face all finished so now we're gonna move on to the eyes i have a couple favorite palettes here Our first one which is a reasonably priced palette is the coconut <laughs> the fucking color pop oh my god what is my problem today it's the color pop going coconut palette it's just super pretty um very nice neutral palette love that it's super nice blends out beautifully i have no complaints about it and it's affordable so that's wonderful Next one I have here is my Raw Beauty Christie Times Pure Cosmetics, and I just fucking love this palette. It is double-sided. The, the quality of the shadows is amazing. They blend out so nicely. They are so creamy. I haven't really dipped into this one too much. I've been using more of the neutral side, so hopefully soon I'll be able to dip into the colorful side. It's just so pretty, and I love, love, love the neutral side. And then my other favorite palette, Last time I showed this on camera, I fucked up my lighting, so I'm not gonna do it, but it's Makeup by Mario palette, and I fucking love this palette. It is so pretty. Maybe I can show you this way. I just won't show, like, all the white. I don't know why I fucked up my lighting so much, but this is a Makeup by Mario palette, and it is stunning, and it blends out so nicely, and I have absolutely no complaints about it. I've been using this one quite a bit, though, so I think I will use my Raw Beauty Christie one today. I don't know what we're doing, but let's use it. So I'm gonna take... This light skin tone shadow, my whole heart, and put it all over the lid. Ooh. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take this super pretty mauve shadow and we're gonna put it all over the lid. Now I'm gonna take this like mustardy yellow shadow and blend it into the crease. take a bit of copper boxes right here and just kind of deepen up the outer V. in with Moo Point, which is that pretty mauve, and just kind of touch up the center here. And I guess we'll add some shimmer to the center of the lid. We're going to take this one right here, which is called Golden Ticket, the middle shade. Just a little bit. I just love a sparkle, you know? We're going to do the bottom waterline now. It's kind of like a sunsetty vibe. Kind of random, but whatever. It's just makeup. Um, okay, I am going to pop on my lashes now. I'll be right back. All right, these are my lashes. Um, I have been absolutely loving this brand. It's called Allure by Arch, and I actually went to high school with her, and she's come out with these lashes, and they are so, so, so stunning. Um, I'm wearing the style Blair. They're super, super pretty. They're so comfortable. If you are in the market for some new lashes, I would definitely check out her website. I'll have it linked here, and I also have a discount code with them, which is amazing. So you can get 20% off with the code Meryl20 if you want. If you want some new lashes, they're so stunning, and she has so many styles. Uh, these are the ones that I chose to wear today because I haven't worn them yet, but they're beautiful and I'm so happy. I, I thank you so much again to Arsh for sending me these lashes. I'm going to go in with a bit of black liner just to kind of spruce up the look a bit. I'm taking my Huda Beauty Life Liner and I really like the pencil side. I don't love retractable ones, like I'd rather sharpen it, but it is what it is. There's a liquid side, but I haven't used it and I, I don't really like the brush on it, so I probably won't use it. Those are the eyes, and I actually kind of love the look now that I've like got lashes on. Dude, lashes fix everything. If you hate the way it's looking, throw on some lashes. I'm just gonna take this Ben Nye uh, lip pencil in Nutmeg. All right, and now I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip gloss at the moment. This is my Tower 28 lip gloss in Almond, and it's so pretty. I love their lip gloss formula. I have a couple other ones. Um, I have an orange one and I also have a clear one and the formula is just so comfortable and it smells delicious like <laughs> It's just so nice. Yeah, I highly recommend their lip gloss formula. It's super super comfortable It's not too sticky like it just feels really good on the lips and they have such a nice um, Range of colors. They're super cute. All right, you guys this is today's final look We used all my favorite products in this video today and I love the way it turned out like those complexion products are just like so beautiful. I highly recommend them. Um, I have dry skin. If you don't know that, I have fucking real dry skin. Um, and the fact that my skin doesn't really look dry, except for this breakout. Breakout looks a little bit crusty, but I think it's just like healing. So we're not even going to worry about it. I highly recommend all of the products I use today, except for Hourglass. Don't support Hourglass. Because <laughs> they're fucking trash. Uh, but other than that, <laughs> I highly recommend all the products I use. Thank you guys once again so much for watching my video today. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, why not share around if you so please. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.